Hi, I'm Isis Couture from Canada's Drag Race Season 2, and you're watching Extra Magazine After the Fashion. Hey, squirrel friends, I'm extra contributor Russ Martin, and you're watching Extra Magazine's After the Sachet, top three edition. And we are here with Isis Couture. Isis, congratulations on making it to the top three. I wanna Thank know. You so much. I wanna know what would being Canada's next drag superstar mean to you? It would it would mean absolutely everything to me. I have been in this scene of art and drag for the past 15 years and I feel like it would just be like a prize and a gift to tell me that everything all the struggles everything that it went to all the hard work that I put into it was worth it because this is the pinnacle of drag this is the Olympics of drag and to be able to after 15 years be able to say that I am the best in Canada <laughs> would be like everything for me. We got to see a little sampling of drag from all across Canada from the past two seasons of Canada's Drag Race. I want to know, in your opinion, where is drag in Canada headed? Drag in Canada is definitely heading up. We have definitely not been people's first thoughts when it comes to the world of drag. But now with Canada's Drag Race in Canada, um, it has just made everyone elevate their drag. It's put spotlights on cities and queens that never had a light on them at all. So I think there's only up from here. And I think there's so much amazing talent here in Canada that it's about time that all of us get a little bit of that shine. Wonderful, I think so too. Now on the show, <laughs> was there yeah. anyone who was surprised didn't make it to top three and isn't standing along beside you? I was very surprised that Suki didn't make it to top three. Very, very surprised. When I first walked into the workroom and I saw her, I was like, oh, 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 you're going to be trouble for me. And then the fact that she didn't, but she won Miss Congeniality, which is just as great. And she had an amazing run on the show. But I was surprised that Suki was not in the finale. Over the past 15 years of drag, you've been a really integral part of the Ottawa drag community. What does it mean to you to represent the city as the first contestant from Ottawa? As I said, Canada hasn't had a real big spotlight and Ottawa in general is very like bottom of the list, which to me is very surprising because we are the nation's capital, but we just, we're a small group of girls and we're really strong and there's just so much diverse talent. And the fact that I am able to shine a little bit of light on Ottawa and everything that we have to offer really means so much to me because this is, this is my home city, this is where my drag is based, this is where my family is, this is where all my friends are. So to be able to share a little bit of what Drag Race has done to me with the city of Ottawa, like, means so much to me. When it comes to drag, do you think that people sleep on Ottawa? And is it time that they stop? I do feel like they sleep on Ottawa, but that time is over because, baby, she's here. <laughs> I want to know about the most famous person in your DMs and tell me a little bit about your interaction with them. So the most famous person in my DMs is um, Manny MUA, who is a YouTuber. He posted like a video like not too long ago saying that he was obsessed with me. So I messaged him and said, you made a great choice. <laughs> so yeah, it would be him. And I, I've, I've been a fan of him for so long. And obviously I love like makeup and all that kind of stuff. So to have somebody who's as successful and prominent in the beauty space as he is, uh, meant a lot. Now they made a big deal of you being the oldest contestant while you were still quite young. I do want to know how has that 15 years of experience worked to your advantage in this competition? Um, it has just made me more professional and aware of my surroundings. So being in the drag scene for so long and being the oldest drag queen has definitely made drag more to me than just wanting to be famous, just anything. All of that, like when you first start and you want you want to be popular, you want to be friends, you want to be seen. Now I do it because I love it, because I've, I've already went past that. Now I'm doing it because it makes me happy. And this is truly what I feel like I was meant to do. Um, so I don't mind being the oldest queen. 
I'm also not the oldest queen. Let's let's make that very clear. I believe Ocean is older than I am. Oh, okay. So the jokes that were I coming. Think so. <laughs> I think so. I will have to ask her. If she's not, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But we would like to clear the record. Uh, do you think, though, with all of these jokes when it comes to age and the gay community and the drag scene, is there an ageism that is going on there? I, for me personally, like during the show where I made jokes about my knees and my age and all that stuff, it is more because I am fully aware of the way that I look and that I have a tendency to just be maybe slightly intimidating or uh, look like I mean. So me poking fun at myself is kind of like allowing everyone else to like just relax and be able to relate to me and be like, if she can make fun of herself, then we can like interact with her as well. Um, just because I want everyone around me to feel comfortable and I'm not going to change the way my face looks. So if I have to make fun of myself, <laughs> then I just will do that. That's it. <laughs> Baby, you should not change the way that your face looks. Your face know, looks perfect. Right? Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get shady for just a second. Who really is it. the better designer? You or Pathea? Well, I won two and she won one. So that would be me. <laughs> Quick and easy. <laughs> yes, yes. Pythia is an amazing designer. And um, I, if I was to pick like a genre of drag that I would like tell you that I love the most, it's her. Like her, just her everything is so my taste and I adore her so much. You shared the honor of being the first Latinx drag queen to enter the workroom on Canada's Drag Race with Adriana. Yes. What did that mean yes. to you as a Latinx person? Um, it meant so much to me. I have, like, I respect and love my Latin side so much. And I am the first El Salvadorian queen on Drag Race. To, so to represent my country, my city, not only Ottawa, but El Salvador, my, like, it's so much, especially in these times where, um, culture means everything and we need to be aware and we need more visibility. The fact that I can be that visibility for people who are like me, who are from the same place that I am, um, it means so much to me and I think I'm doing it great. Now, your brother does drag as well. How has he supported you in this journey of being on the show? Um, actually, my brother is with me right now. He's actually over there. When I first started drag, he was underage. He used to, he used to be my assistant, he used to carry my bag. Then when he became of legal age, he asked me to be his drag mother. And he has been the most supporting person. He has helped me through this whole entire week. He helped me with my drag race stuff. He helped me. He literally is the backbone of Isis Couture, which is why he's my daughter and which is why I'm so proud. Isis, I want to know, as a designer, what was it like to be judged by Brad? I actually, when I first saw the judges and I saw Brad, I lost my mind a lot of the girls i'm not putting them on blast but a lot of the girls did not know who he was but i on the other hand knew exactly who he was i've watched him on television shows i followed him through his whole entire career and i am so obsessed and in love with him and the fact that i said this on the reunion too the fact that it went over well with him specifically meant a lot to me because drag to me and the way that because I create everything is so personal and to me and the fact that somebody who is like him said that I like what you're doing and I get what you're doing it like it it means so much to me like it really I'm obsessed with it thank you so much for watching extra magazine after the sachet you can catch me on all social media it's queen isis and you can see me with the crown like come on Ha 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 ha!